Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Today I'm having a look at the Pro Mods Canada mod. So this adds British Columbia to American Truck Simulator. As you can see, we go right up the west coast into Canada with this mod. Um, there's not, obviously, you know, most of the settlements in British Columbia are in the south because this is quite um, barren landscape, quite, I think it's like gets quite mountainous and snowy and yeah it's, it's really really cool but pro mods have added you know a, a dozen cities in this area and it's gonna be really cool to check out so this is my first time ever driving into um the canada map so i'm really really looking forward to it now i've been streaming this game a lot recently and if you want to come and check them out i'd recommend subscribing to my channel and also joining the discord which is in the description um a link is in the description down below uh, that way you'll be notified when i um am streaming because on my discord i've got a bot that tells you exactly when i'm streaming and also i'll let people know when i'm streaming before i do so yeah Come and join the Discord. Uh, I've been streaming this game a lot, really enjoying it, and I'd love to see you on the streams. Okay, so let's get a job. I already said a job, but I don't think it's one we want to do. We want to go right into the heart of the new mod. That's a. You have to rush that one, though, that's a thing. Um, Bellingham? Well, that's on the border. I might have to do this one. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to rush it. Not really. Seattle to Kelowna. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be my first impressions of the new map. So what I'm looking for is have they made it so the transition between you know Turn left. driving from the United States from the vanilla game into the new mod, does it feel quite smooth transition, does it, or does it feel like you're really, you know, driving to a completely different place? What the heck's happened there? It's like a junkyard for trailers. Um, as you can see, I've got the new, or recently released... Where do we stop here? Is this a... Oh, this is weird. Oh, I, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, he went through red, though. I've got the new Cabin Accessories DLC. Which is quite cool. I uh, am now running the game at 1440p, so you get the, get it in nice quality on YouTube. Got a new monitor. Stay left. And yeah, I'm just Stay loving this game at the moment. I've been streaming it quite a lot. Um, I'll be doing a stream a couple of hours after I finish recording tonight. And I, d I just finished one a couple of hours earlier, as I'm speaking now. Which was fun. I drove up to Seattle. Um, because I needed to drive up here, obviously, to start the mission into Canada. So yeah, I'm uh, Pro Mods Canada. They're going to be releasing more um, more areas as the as the game DLC progresses. Because you know we we were only up to like Wyoming now. I think that's the next state that's coming out, and that's still you're not even in the middle of America. It's just like here somewhere. Um, so as these start filling in with new DLC, you're going to see more of the Can uh, Canadian, is it states? I guess they're states or, or regions, you know, come into um, the mod. So what can we get? Oh, a flatbed double. Well, let's go for that. Let's go for the normal one and take it. So we got to deliver it quickly. 12 hours. And how long is this journey going to take? I don't know. I think I'll make another video on this as well because I want to try it with a snow mod just to get that authentic like Canadian experience. Uh, oh god. The visibility from the mirrors in these big trucks in American trucks isn't as good as you get in Euro truck. That's what I've noticed. Anyway, so we're in an international. I think it's the International Lone Star. Don't quote me on that. Um, really nice truck, actually. I love the interior. The exterior, in my opinion, doesn't look so good. Down here. My force feedback went mad then. I don't know if you heard that. Okay, let's go. 430 miles, 8 hours. We can do it, we can do it. Turn 
Okay. Train tracks. I do like the details in this game, and... You know, I, I, I was saying in my stream earlier, they really have increased the amount of, like, custom... Special, not custom, but special vehicles in the traffic. So there's lots of, uh, you know, there's lots of ambulances, police cars, taxis, fire trucks. I saw some, I think I saw an ice cream van actually once. Look at that. That is nice. Having the uh, trains and stuff go through the game really adds to the realism. It makes you feel like you're part of a, a living, breathing world. And. The more DLC they add, the more features come to this game, and it just, it's really brilliant. Okay. They just added viewpoints. We might see... I mean, they might have put some viewpoints in the mod. I don't know. We'll have to see. So yeah, I'll make another video on this game. This game, this mod, sorry. And we're going left. Okay, heading north. So this, this is fantastic. This is the first time I've been into the Pro Mods map for ATS, and it's really bringing back the memories of the first time I I drove into Pro Mods in ETS 2. That kind of feeling of like, what am I going to see? How, you know, is it going to be really good? And you know, driving into the Pro Mods on ETS 2, that map for the first time was just astonishing because back then, the map quality of Pro Mods was arguably higher than the map quality of SCS software. Now I'd say they're on par. Maybe Pro, maybe Promos um, is slightly inferior just because, you know, SES is a massive company and they've got... Well, not a massive company, but they're a substantial company and they've got a lot of money behind the development of new maps. But Promos is still amazing. Really great. Okay, we're going to try not to speed too much today. So what have I got in the interior? Well, I've got this mobile phone on the left. Um, it really is good because you can see quite far into the distance, which compared to the sat-nav down in the centre of the dashboard there, doesn't look so good. I much prefer the mobile phone. It really shows you where you're going rather than that kind of rubbishy view on the sat-nav. I've got f uh, fluffy dice, I've got a bee in the aircon there, in the vent. A hula girl, look, woo! Doesn't really rock about much, but when you turn it does. Um, we've got a compass, aviator sunglasses, a can of cola, an SES software mug. I actually have a Euro truck mug, which is really nice. We can go 60 now, just increase the uh, cruise control. Some cola bottles, a burger, which is really cool. And I think that's it. I haven't done anything else. This is like the premium interior. We've got wood and uh, these nice fabric seats. And, I don't know if you saw, but, Merry Christmas. Yeah, we got a Christmas um, livery for the truck, and it looks really good. And I'm all over the road. Anyway. Okay. So, we should be there soon. We've, we've of course, got to go over, over a border crossing, which is a feature they've taken over from Euro Truck. Stay left. There's pretty much no traffic on the road, which is a bit weird. But, uh, you know. Oh. So, yeah, I think, I think we'll know when we're in the new map because we've gone right through the um, barriers and all the customs checks. So I've been to Canada when I was really young, but I don't remember anything really from it. I remember going on, oh, I don't know what they're called, but there's these massive, like, sort of off-road buses that you can go on and drive, uh, and they drive you around all the different, like, glaciers and stuff. It's really cool. Definitely want to go back one day, but obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic now and international travel isn't possible. I want to go to America as well. I mean, I have so much of America I want to see, but... Uh, I 
You struggle to see everything in your lifetime, right? Oh no! I didn't want this to happen because I want us to get, be able to get into the mod as soon as possible, but... I'm going to abide by the rules. Finding new route. Go straight. Look at all the cars driving past. They don't have to weigh themselves, but we do. Okay. 19 tons, not too heavy. Right, let's not crash into anything here. I'm quite bad at junctions in these big trucks. Um, okay. Oh, wrong gear. No, 18. We've got 18 gears now, so I'm getting used to the new gearbox. I just upgraded it today. So I could have done a quick job to Canada, but I, you know, much prefer using my actual truck. So the next time you see uh, me drive either on the stream or, you know, obviously you could be watching this video years in the future and this is way, way past, but right now it's December 2020, I'm going to be turning on um, the, the winter mod or snow mod for this game as soon as I finish this video, because I want to show this in its kind of, you know, n vanilla state, the vanilla mod. But, because um, it's Christmas, I'm going to be turning on the um, snow. I think that just adds to the game. You know, you can have the physics, the physics like the, the steering wheel weights up um, when you're going through the thick uh, snow and then becomes really slippy when you're driving on like ice. It's so cool the way they've implemented the mod. Stay right, then exit right. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's one for ATS. I need to make sure. But uh, okay. Exit right. State Street, Iowa Street. Stay right, and then turn right. Bellingham discovered. So this is the most northern town, I think. Or one of the most northern towns in Washington State that's in the game. Okay. Oops, just me and my mic. Right. I need to get my mic in a comfortable position because we're going well it's not a very long drive but uh, it means I can't always you know I have got a massive amount of freedom to move my arms when I'm steering I will find a new position for it but it's just I'm, I'm still kind of setting up this new monitor that I've just installed so I'm getting everything on my desk sorted and yeah 1440p has transformed this game it's just pushed that a little bit up and I can see you know I look into the distance and you can actually see things quite clearly Right, this must be the beginning of the Promos map, because we're out of Bellingham now. And we're driving into unknown territory. Well, Canada, that's not <laughs> unknown territory as in, in my game. But, uh... I do like that you can see like skid marks everywhere in this game. It really makes you feel like someone's actually had an accident um, when you drive past. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Is he gonna let me go?
18 gears, we can get some good economy out of this. That must be the biggest plus point, right? You get much better economy. Lots of animals, which is good. Again, part of the world building, making you feel like you're really in a living, breathing world. In Train Sim, obviously, I've said this a few times when I played Train Sim and when I've shown stuff in Train Sim, the animals just don't move. It's like they're dead. I mean, it's just... come on. It's like they're stuffed animals, you know. Oh my goodness, that train is moving slowly. It's loud. Oh, look at this. Sea. Like a sea of pumpkins. Wow. In real life, obviously, these trains have been much longer. Um, that's quite a short train, really. But at least it's only one track. Sometimes in this country, in my, in the UK, you have a, one train coming and then another coming. Um, I think we had three trains go past at one time. It just took ages. Because I think trains can follow like trains can follow each other with one signal in between them. Or is it two? I don't know. But anyway, that was not a fun experience. Okay, I can see the border crossing on the map. Here we go. We're entering Sumas. So this must now be the Pro Mods Canada map. Here we go. Stay right and then turn right. Trucks turn right. spur. Turn right. Well, that means. Trucks must turn right, okay. I guess we're looping around to the bit, you know, where the actual um, border crossing is. He's letting me go. No, he's not. No. Oh, come on. This AI is really not very good in this game. Okay. So it should be pretty simple. We just stop at the border guard. And that's it. And everything's in kilometers an hour now. Oh no! Did I see that? Okay. Right, right. Okay, don't do that in real life. Don't honk at the border guards. Okay, border check. Checking your documents. They should be okay. It'd be cool if you could actually like you had to like sign documents, right? To say you're bringing in in a ventilation shaft. Oh, I can't see it now. There used to be a window back there when I had the non sleeper version. Thanks guys, here we go. Into Canada. Oh, this is nice. Maximum 50 kilometers per hour. Well, I mean, that transition was good. It felt really smooth. Like, it felt like we were just going, you know, driving to another part of the SES software map. Okay, 31 mile per hour is the speed limit, now 43. So it does convert quite well for me on the um, Turn right. on the dashboard, oh, not the dashboard, the, well it is on the dashboard actually, but on the sat nav and all that. So we can't turn right on red, that's one thing we have to give up. Around we go. Oh, look at that. We've got some... A couple of mountains there, looks like. Already. Right, merging. There we go. 
We can go 62. Oh, yeah. Driving in uh, California in this game, you have to go 55 pretty much everywhere, which is just painful. 62 I can live with. 62 is quite low, but that's fine. We're going to go 62 right on the nose. So I'll just have a look at some of the scenery. I mean, it, it does feel like we're in a different country. The road markings are slightly different, you know. The landscape's changed a little bit. A, a little, not much. Long combination vehicle route, okay. All the roads are open, nice. Oh, I'm, I'm, I can't read these signs in time. Let's see if I can use the... Leaves Freeway, next ex exit. Cash Creek, Prince George, I've heard of Prince George. Princeton and Pent Penticton. Experience Hope. Wow. That's cool. Oh, this is Hope. This is a place called Hope. I think we found a good job here. It's going to show us quite a bit of the map. really dense forests around and look how many trees they've put into the map like you you can see trees from like just what seems like miles it's really cool okay we can get over steep hill So there's an alternative route here, and we don't want to go in that one. Stay left. Oh, why are we slowing down? Oh no, we have to use the alternative route. Wow, they've really blocked off that road. Okay. Okay. Is that a custom? That might be a custom police car as well. So that's cool. Grinding the gears. Quite bright. I think the sun's right behind us. We're heading. Oh no, maybe not. We're heading east. Um, oh no, it's, it's kind of behind us. Yeah, looks like custom police cars. They, they, you know, they put in the detail. Are we gonna see any animals like? Wild am animals like deer. I hope so. And they must make a, a lot of money around here with uh, logging, right? And maybe like oil and gas, stuff like that. I hope we can see a viewpoint today. Oh, I could have... I could have gone to that one. We'll do one today, or maybe in the next video, if I remember. I should have put... Uh, my Steam into Do Not Disturb, because now we're going to get notifications of people playing games. You know, there are some quite weird games on Steam, and I, I worry one day that one of my people in my friends is just going to be playing a really weird game, and the people in the comments are going to be like, what on earth is that? 
but it's not me playing it, so <laughs> yeah. I think I need to turn the brightness down a bit. It's a bit bright. I mean, it, it, the thing is, it does get like this sometimes in real life, doesn't it? You know, when it gets a little bit too bright to see, like, you know, clearly in front of you. But, uh, you know, it's, it's mid-afternoon, so the sun should be quite low in the sky now. I oh, know this game's set in summer, isn't it? Yeah. It seems like the SES games always set their games, like, in the middle of summer. Ski area, wow. Go straight. Oh, this feels good. I'm getting into it. Round we go. So we're on quite a twisty road now. Please pull over ahead and perform a brake check. What the heck? This is a new feature. This must be new for the. Uh, whoops. New for the mod. Oh, look at this! Checking brakes. Oh, wow! This is cool. Now that is a cool feature. So the brakes are good. I guess. Wah! Didn't see. That could have been a disaster. Okay. So that was weird. So yeah, they've added that to the uh, mod, which is cool. And I guess that's something else to keep your journey a bit more entertaining. I'm trying to drive much more sensibly than I have in the past, you know. Go straight. I don't want to crash anymore. Early on in the game, crashes really do affect you, you know, the, the maintenance costs, repair, and... Yeah. Fuel is bad enough. I mean, it's not so bad in American trucks, sim. But in Euro truck, fuel is quite expensive, so... Like in real life, obviously, fuel is much more expensive in Europe. When do you think we're going to see like the first electric truck, either on the road or in this game? I don't know, because, uh, you know, there are prototypes of electric trucks coming out. None, I don't, I don't think any are like in road haulage use yet. There's electric vans and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah. That'll make... Euro truck and ATS a bit different, weren't it? Just put autopilot on in your Tesla truck or whatever. <laughs> let, let the game do the work. But yeah, I think there'll always be a market for these games because these are just so much fun. These games. And racing games, of course. If in the real world we're not allowed to drive, you know, petrol cars. If they ever get banned, we can always come to Assetto Corsa, iRacing, Project Cars, whatever game you want to play. And same thing can be said if they ever, if you know, if you love driving trucks, you'll always have this game. 
But we don't know what's going to happen in the future, obviously. We don't know if, uh, how soon countries are going to, or if they ever will, ban petrol cars and diesel cars. Trucks seem to be a more difficult thing for um, electrification because they need to have very, very long range and they need to be very powerful. Um, and I, even though the power's there, the reliability perhaps of motors, you know, being able to c carry really heavy loads and also the um, range problem of, of an electric truck. You know, they want, they want to be able to go a thousand miles in a day. Stay right and then continue straight. And right now you'd have to charge it like two or three times to get that distance, but... Uh, go straight. It's cool emerging technology. I mean, I drove that, that Tesla Model S in my Assetto Corsa video. That's one of my most popular videos. So there's clearly an interest for electric cars in video games. Right. It's starting to get dark. Well, not really. It's sort of... It's a, you know, dusk. Luckily, we'll see most of the map that we see today in the daytime. Just over a hundred miles away, so about, you know, 15 minutes more. Put the lights on. Coming through like a, a small village. Um, right, back up to 50. So this truck in front is kind of keeping us up right now, but uh, also means I can kind of take in the scenery more. Wow, right, look how twisty the road is up ahead. See it on the mobile phone, or is that where? No, that's where we've come from. I think. Yeah, that's where we've come from. Go straight. Okay. Turn left. Couldn't see anything coming, but that was a good example of why I should really take things slow because you could not see what was coming from the left and the right, and right until um, you were on the junction. So with track AR, I have to kind of like lean forward to see left, see uh, right and left out the windows. No, we're speeding. I didn't re realize. Let's just carry the speed. There you go. And there was a police car. Oh my goodness! Thank it. Thank goodness it. The speed limit went up just as soon as we hit that police car. Okay. So this was a, a really a job that needed to be done quick, and we've made it easily. If we were going to be late, it would play like that really loud music saying like, Oh, your delivery is expected. Quickly do it. It does lean a bit, actually, when you go around these corners quite fast. It just leans a little bit. Yeah. I think you can turn on like a realistic physics option in the game's console somewhere, but I don't really want to do that because it means you flip over all the time. And also the physics are okay, you know. Right, there's a scale. Will it force us to use it? 
Yes. No. No, it won't. Right. So this is a sort of. We just have to be careful here. Don't. You have to just necessarily wait for a while. I can't. Okay. I think that's what that blinking red light means. Just kind of stop and wait and make sure it's safe before you go. But isn't that just what a stop sign does anyway? I don't know. You know. What's that noise? Is there a plane going over? Oh no, we're in an airport! Look at that! Oh wow. That's a cool little detail. That runway is very short. Wow. Oh look, we're by a lake. I guess if they missed the runway, they're in the lake, but uh... Then turn left. Okay. Turn left. Oh. That's new. Flashing green left arrow to let it go. So yeah, there are a few different things about, you know, um, Canadian road laws and stuff, and they've implemented it really well into this game. Road sweeper there. I'm not going to get behind these guys. There's the ice cream truck I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, never never mind, it's disappeared. Um, that's, a, that's a shame when that happens, you know, I don't know why that happens. It might, it might actually be a map mod issue. Um, not a, but it, I, I have seen it happen in the normal game, that's the thing. It's just, it's just a bug, but... Okay. So... We're nearly there now. On this sunny evening. Which makes a change from the weather we're having in the UK in December. Um, although I don't think many places in the Northern Hemisphere really get much sun in the... in December. At least not in Europe and America. Oh, Okay. I was speeding then, but he didn't find me. Uh, okay. Go straight. All right. Hopefully, no more um, traffic lights now. Hopefully, back on the open road. Looks like it. Okay. Fifty-four miles to go. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Fifty six. Yeah, there you go. All set on the cruise control. People ahead are going, Oh, it's gone down. Fifty. Both turning right. Ah! I should have braked, but. Oh, 
Oh, this is a steep sort of corkscrew here. Right, we're nearly there. Yeah, all the junctions feel really nicely made, sort of... They all look quite custom and well built. The, the towns and villages I've driven through feel good. The border crossing was cool. We have a you know new feature, that brake check thing. There's viewpoints in this. Can't ask for much more, really. And they will be adding more of Canada as um, American Truck Sim progresses and we go further east with all the DLC. And, you know, SES Software are speeding up their... Um, DLC making, so you know it's it's good. We'll get there soon. We'll get to the East Coast soon. Couple of years, I think, will be beyond Texas. Twenty twenty two, we'll have Texas and a few more states around there. We'll be up to that point. And then a couple of a couple of years after that, we we'll up to you know Florida and New York. which will just be amazing. I mean, the Texas DLC will be huge. Oh, all well, the lights just come on. The Texas DLC will be huge. Really huge. Thir why is it 37 over this bridge? I don't know, but we might as well go slow. We're, uh, uh, there you go. There's the music. <laughs> this does remind me of like the old SCS software games which had music like this. You know, like 18 wheels of steel. Right, there's a viewpoint here somewhere, so we're gonna we're gonna look at that for the very last thing in the video. But right now, we need to go and park. How soon did I expect it? An hour and 44 minutes, okay. Oh! We're here. Ventilation shaft. To... I don't know what this company's called. Fishtail food. There you go. Right, we've got to get in there. Can I do it? Hopefully. Oh, they've had a crash up there. Whoa, okay. Left hand down. And then back it in. No. Oh, that's not that's not bad. Bit wonky. I've hit the wall now. I can get it straighter than that. Come on. Right. Right. That is good. Pretty straight, I mean definitely okay. Okay. What do we get? 1170 XP, perfect. Not quite level up, but 14 grand, that's pretty good. So, last thing to do today, find that viewpoint. And it's there. Okie dokie. Drive safe. So yeah, my, re my, re my first impressions of that, um, of this m new Pro Mods Canada DLC, I think it's really good. I really do. Really fun. Um, good variation on the map. 
they've really blended it well with the original... Turn right. You know, the original game map. Stay right. It's not the original game, Turn actually, right. it's the DLC map, but... Uh, yeah, it just feels good. Turn right. Stay left, then turn left. Right, let's go and see what this viewpoint is, and that's where turn we're going to finish. Whoa. Turn right. Oh, look at this. Like an overview of the lake. That's really cool. It was a nice ride. Yep. Okay. So here we are at... What's this viewpoint called? Whoa. Uh, stop the engine. Kelowna. The William R. Bennett Bridge. Really cool. So that was my first impressions of the... Um... Oh, what? Ooh, we're going to have a close look of the... May 2008. Wow. That was my first impressions of the Pro Mods Canada map. Uh, subscribe to this channel to stay notified about all of my um, upcoming videos and uh, live streams that I do. I, I do live stream this game quite a bit at the moment. Um, click the bell, make sure you're on all notifications so you get you never miss a notification. And also, come and join the Discord. It's a great place to talk about sim games, be notified about all my videos, and I'm, I'm going to tell people when I'm going to be streaming. Let's watch that again. <laughs> Why not? Um... And and also there's monthly giveaways on the Discord. Also, when I stream, I do giveaways when I get you know lots of people watching. So it's a good good um, it's good to come and watch because you might win a cool Steam game. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.